morning, Green Canyon Wolves. Today is Thursday, February 15th. Remember that there is no school tomorrow Monday, so have a great four-day weekend, everyone. Here are our announcements for today. First off, let's turn some time over to our principal for a message from him. Hey, good morning, Wolf Pack. Hey, I just wanted to make a couple comments about last night and the excitement that was uh, displayed at our basketball game last night against Skyview. First of all, when I walked in and saw that, just that sea of white up in that student section, how impressed I was. In fact, I had to walk across the other, uh, uh, on the other side to take, a, to, to take a picture. It was kind of neat to see. I'm not sure if that's ever really happened. I know the years that I was at Skyview to see that kind of a student body of a visiting team be represented there. So that was a really neat experience. But can I just share with you uh, some of the, the things and comments that were made to me about that game last night? You know, even though that we uh, fell short on the, uh, the, the final score of the game, we made some statements there that was, that was pretty impressive. And some of those statements were, were observed by not only our fans and us as a faculty, but also the fans of the, uh, the opposing team. Uh, to see that amount of uh, students in support, the excitement that was there, the cheers that were going on, just very, very impressive. And the comments that were made about uh, to me on several occasions about, gosh, how do how did you, you know, how do you, how do you, how does a student body of a school with only opening up in four or five months can come together like that? And you know, they they make those comments to me, and I have to say. It's really not anything to do with me, but it has to do with you as a student body, embracing the Wolf Pack, embracing this school. And again, it was very, very, very neat. Um, I know that uh, I had several texts last night from their administration, their AD, of uh, how impressed they were with your, not only, I mean, the excitement, the cheers that were going on, but uh, overall, uh, how well we were behaved. And I uh, just want to thank you for that kind of excitement and that representation from Green Canyon High School. Uh, afterwards, I had the janitor uh, grab my arm and as I was leaving after our, the fifth quarter and just say, will you please let your student buddy know, let them know how thankful they are that, that, that there was people there that stayed up and cleaned up after to have a, a couple garbage cans full of uh, trash uh, and uh, sacks that were there, he said it saved them quite a bit of time. So those are kind of the statements, those are the impressions that, that uh, are very, very positive that, uh, that when you leave, that uh, they're left on the minds of, of, of other people. In fact, uh, their, their uh, uh, yearbook advisor took a picture at the end when everybody was kind of doing the heart thing. Um, he said that I got pictures of that. He said that may be in our yearbook. But overall, what a great excitement. Thank you for Again, embracing the Wolf Pack here. All of you being involved in, in getting the T-shirts coming together as a, as a school. Uh, I think, you know, maybe to you it's just a, you know, it's what we do, but for other people to, to see that a brand new high school have that much support and that much excitement is very, very impressive. Now, also, we also have uh, another cru crucial game tonight. Our girls basketball team will be playing up Ridgeline High School, and they will be uh, going for, well, if it's uh, for a second place uh, position. If we win tonight, there'll be a coin toss uh, that will hopefully give us home court advantage. And so we wanna take that same kind of energy, bring it over to Ridgeline and cheer our girls on for their final game. And then also our final basketball game uh, will be Friday night also against Ridgeline. And so all positioning for, uh, for, for second and third uh, spots. Uh, so we've just had a lot, a lot of excitement. I want to congratulate all. We just finished up with a wonderful, exciting uh, drama uh, or a musical that was just uh, uh, stellar. Uh, we've uh, been uh, having a lot, of, a lot of neat things just uh, wrapping up as we start getting, ending our trimester. So thank you for your enthusiasm and uh, want to continue that on. Oh, by the way, uh, somebody <clears throat> um, left this wolf mask up in the bleachers. If it's yours, you can come to my office and, and claim it. And uh, anyway, so hey, just wrote one little quick little uh, uh, thing here. After, uh, once pack hour starts, the first five people that can come to me and tell me when we had our open house, the date of our open house, we'll get a surprise. Thank you. Go Wolves. Thanks, Mr. Swenson. And thanks for leading us so well. Green Canyon really is a great school.
Attention softball players, there will be no open gym on Monday, February 19th. We'll have our last open gym on February 21st. Also, tryouts will begin February 26th at 3 p.m. in the RSL building. Potential drivers, it is that time again to be thinking about the next driver's ed class. Cream Canyon has a class starting on March 5th at 5.30 p.m. The June class this summer will get full quickly, so plan accordingly. Please come in and get signed up as SAP in the front office. Attention seniors, are you planning on attending Utah State in the fall? Please come to room 118 during pack hour today to start your student orientation. Utah State will be here to get the ball rolling. They will give you all the important head start for the new student orientation once again. Seniors planning to attend USU, please go to room 118 during pack. Just a reminder of our fundraising concert on February 20th, next Tuesday at 7 p.m. here at Green Canyon. Tickets can be purchased from Mrs. Bagley in the Writing Lab. Also, APAC students will be selling them at Lee's Marketplace in Logan on Friday and Saturday. Please tell your parents, family, and friends, and let's fill the auditorium. Come and support this great cause and our students who are performing. Out of 280 schools there, Green Canyon Debate did the best out of everyone from Utah. We had three kids in the final. Jonah Tosh Toshekka, our German exchange student, Logan Gonzalez, and Emmy Berecki. Let's hope we can bring it against Logan at Region, Clearfield and Logan District, and Park City at State. Let's turn some time over to exec for the birthdays and activities. Happy birthday, February 15th, to Tristan Anderson and my dude Austin Mon. Woo! Woo! Happy birthday the 16th to Emily Lauder, Danny Rollin, and Ryan Ward. And birthday on the 17th to Luke Harris and Savannah Myers. And then the 18th to Ashley Duran, Nick Perks, Joanna Toshka, and Alexa Willis. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Woohoo! Girls basketball game today. At Ridgeline, there's one game at 3.30, one at 5.15, and one at 7. Come out and support. All right, we've got our last boys home basketball game tomorrow. So even though we don't have school, please come out and support. It's senior night versus Ridgeline. So let's go get that dub. We'll see you there. Hey, all you interested in running for exec, we have these packets that you need to pick up if you're planning on it. They will be available in the office Wednesday. Thanks, exec. Teachers and students, we now invite you to stand and repeat the Pledge of Allegiance as a class.